intervals, specifically the third interval. That's what makes a chord either major or minor. Today I'm going to show you how to use just the root and the third interval to replace your chords. You can use this to create intros, riffs, combine it with the scale to make solos. It's a very powerful tool and it also makes it much easier for you to jam, making you a more competent rhythm player as well. Printable tabs are becoming a Patreon, links in the notes as well as the description. Emails in there if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons, links to our other social networks. New ukulele, Wednesday, Saturday, guitar on Monday. Subscribe if you like this kind of content. Grab your ukulele, it's your brain and your attention span. Follow me on in and let's break it down. Okay, so this is a great one if you're the second ukulele or in your songwriting or if you just wanna make a cover more interesting. They are thirds and a third essentially can be used as a major chord. If, okay, D major, three notes. D, F sharp, and A. D's the root, F sharp is the major third, and A is the fifth. D minor. D, F, A, root, flat third, fifth. So we can see these two chords have two of the same three notes. That means the color of this chord comes from the third interval, not from the fifth or the root. So by playing just the root, and the fifth, you can imply that chord. If I play D and F, sounds like a D minor. If I play D and F sharp, it sounds like D major, okay? So essentially, that makes this a movable minor chord. Your root notes here. So this would be a D minor, up two frets, A minor, up two frets, F sharp minor, etc. D major, D note, up two frets, E major, F major, G major. If you know the note on the C string, you know what chord you're playing. If you play directly below, you imply a major chord, one over, you imply minor. This also works on the E and the A string, but it looks a little different. A note, A major. So the minor shape on these two is major, if we wanna make it a minor, we have to go over one more. So this would be A minor. A, C, A minor. A, C, E, A minor. A, C sharp, E, A major. A and C, A minor. A and C sharp, A major. Minor, major. A major, G major. You can literally see your G chord here. B minor, B minor third. So on these two strings, it would be major, major, and then minor. And you can again make an A minor, G minor, however you want. Now, how do you put this into practical use? Well, let's say you got a progression and your friend's playing and the song they wrote goes D minor, F major, G minor, A minor. This song is really, really sad. Probably doesn't have a happy ending cause this song is really, really, really sad. Oops, I messed up the sad progression, yeah. And you wanna layer that up. Okay, let's make our finer D minor first. D note, minor on these strings is down one over one, D minor. F major, D, D sharp, E, F. The major is right below it. F major is five, five. G minor, G note, and here the minor is down one, down two. A minor, G, G sharp, A. Down one string, down two frets, A minor. This song is still really, really sad. Didn't get any happier with these chord fragments, yeah. But at least it sounds pretty cool. You can layer that over and it would sound amazing layered on top. It would just sound really, really cool. Now, you can also use this for very straightforward solo ideas. Do, 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 do. 
I know it's not that melodic, but it's very rhythmic and it sounds cool over top of those chords. Sounds really nice. You can use it for intro riffs. There's my song, come and sing along. That's right, baby. 90s Billabong was the t shirt that I wore from Pacific Sun. Where, yeah. Ooh, heavy lyrics, bro. Okay. Another thing that we can do is we can tie this together with the scale. We have the D minor pentatonic, 0, 2, 1, 3, 0, 3, 2, 5, 3, 5, 3, 5. And if I'm going from a D minor to an F, I can use these. Passing tones, right? So from this shape to this shape, this G note is in the scale in between the two. And there what I did from here is I went five, scale, scale, start over. So that's another way to use these chord fragments. So there's five, so that's what it is. How are you gonna put it into play? Well, what I think you should do is take chord progressions you're familiar with, start there and turn them into chord fragments. After you get really confident doing that, also look at the scale. Take a song you already know and create an intro riff for it. Take a song you already know, different chords, different progressions, and try to change and sing over these shapes. Take a song you already know and try to use these shapes and combine them with the scale to create a solo. All of these things are gonna take your rhythm playing to a whole nother level, and it's gonna make it much easier and gonna make you much more competent when you play with your friends as well. All right, until next time. Keep on rocking and rolling. Have a lovely day. And there you have it, folks. That is how you play these with rhythm. That's how you take your rhythm playing to a whole new level. That's how you step up your game. And that's how you master the master class of being the second ukulele. At first, when you start to be like in the jams, you really just play the same thing. And what can I tell you? It's not that impressive, not that fun, not that cool. So these techniques will level you up big time. All right. Okay. That's it. Catch you next Wednesday or Saturday. Just had to run to what my life, my ran to the door to let my wife and I'm a little out of breath because I was sprinting. All right, until next time, rock and roll and have a lovely day. Take care.